Hey guys, Kid Guru here. Today has some tips, hints, guidelines, whatever you want to say, for involving technology in cooperation with summer. And you know, with it being summertime for most of us, I just got off. Uh, it's Monday, my first Monday here. My about two, three, about three months to round it up off in summer. But you know, today I have a collaboration of tips in this one. You'll probably see more videos on this. But anyway, it's buying. This involves for buying, selling. You know buying your gadgets or selling, you know, stuff or even making money and, you know, getting the experience during summer. And what you can do during summer to, um, you know, involving technology to really, you know, help you out within, you know, buying stuff or making cash for whatever reasons, you know. So, and all around just getting experience because I'll get into that later on what I mean by that. So what I mean is I'm getting into the general uh, topic of summer jobs and how you can use technology to help it out. Now, if you're all geeks or nerds or whatever, you know, you just love technology, uh, you might want to look into, you know, getting a summer job if, you know, you're up for it. Uh, now, there's two ways you can go about that. There's always, you know, paid summer jobs. Uh, you get paid, obviously, and uh, there's always, you know, f you know, free, but there is, you know, good stuff within free. I mean, uh, the, um, how should I say this, though? The pros of, you know, free summer jobs you know, even though you're you're not getting paid, you're you're still getting the experience, obviously. So that's one. You get the skill to you know get whatever you know job area you're in, and the opportunity to work with people, to work with new equipment, stuff like that. So you know, it's always great to if you can get the free job, you know, try it out. You never know. You may you may pursue in that career in the future. Who knows? But you know, there's always the pain that has all those uh, pros. But you know, of course, you get paid is the extra thing. So. Um, this can help, you know, like I said, buying gadgets over the summer. I know a lot of people are looking to buy new computers or about Macs, PCs, you know, servers, all that, you know, type of stuff. Um, and summer jobs can really help, especially it's time to take advantage of stuff. You can get, you know, you, you can get, you can work with, uh, special, um, programs that your area may offer now. I'm not going to say all areas offer this because, um, you know, I'm not sure if everyone does, but I know my area does. Uh, sometimes you have to be older than 14 or 16, sometimes depending on your rules of where you are. Uh, they may have special programs, so you may want to contact schools, uh, special offices for your area. If you're overseas, I'm pretty sure there's an office there, or, you know, work groups, stuff like that. Businesses that are hiring, stuff like that. You may want to check into that. Um, now, you can, you know, you don't always have to go about summer jobs if you still want to make money over summer. Uh, for your tech needs, I know all of us have those. Uh, always look into, you know, doing extra chores around the house, getting a job somewhere else. You know, it doesn't uh, necessarily have to be some. You know, you can get a job with your family or something like that. I actually have something like that. Uh, it's non-tech related, but uh, it does get paid uh, six dollars an hour, so that's pretty good. Uh, saving your cash that you make over the summer, however you make it, uh, save it up for something you're really, you know, hoping to buy. And always, uh, if you're always looking to buy stuff, there's always, um, during summertime, obviously, there's always great, great online and store deals. Uh, Newegg.com, Tiger Direct, ThinkGeek always have great, great deals, especially around summertime. You might check those out. And also, you know, go to stores like Best Buy, all those other stores. I'm pretty sure they have, uh, you know, deals as well for selling, you know, whatever you're looking into buying. But yeah, so just for, you know, example, uh, if you are looking into pursuing a technology, you know, summer job, you may want to look into. There's a lot of stuff you can always do. Camera work, you know. There's always a uh, uh, play, people hiring to for you to pursue in a you know camera, whatever it may be, like filming or uh, video production stuff like that. IT support. Uh, sometimes I've seen that uh, they actually uh, they actually have uh, you for information technology have a summer job to help out just to gain some experience of how it is helping out people and the support. And that goes along with assistant help, uh, online or phone call support, stuff like that. Um, and there's also special training programs for specific tech, you know, stuff, programming, stuff like that. And it's really a great opportunity for students or, you know, young teens to really experience how it is in a work field and how it is to work in that environment. And sometimes there's perks to it, like I said, getting paid. Depends. But, yeah, so... Um, Aside from, you know, summer jobs, there's always online summer jobs. Now, this is, you know, not, you know, very highly, uh, uh, you know, you don't see this done much, but it, do, it does get done. Uh, you can 
there's uh, forums you can go to. You never know, you may get hired one day or, you know, some company may contact you, you never know. Or sponsorships may pay you, uh, you know, stuff like My Tech World, my, my, my uh, online tech show that I run, I get paid from my sponsors, so, you know, that's a perk. Uh, you know, there's other sites, video communities, etc. that may be hired. I remember reading in an article that uh, there was a kid who actually was in a form, was actually uh, homesick one day and he took apart his whole computer and re put it back together. And he learned a lot, and he went to a computer forum, and he helped the guy fix some problem. And a company contacted him if he wanted to start this business in computer support. Now he's, you know, he has a good amount, a good sum of money, and he has his own company. So you may want to look into starting your own home business or your own business, whatever it may be, computer repair or whatever. So that's always, you know, something you can do towards summer. You have a long break, guys. Uh, as always, though, don't stay home all day, you know. Get out, go outside, play for an hour a day or whatever it may be, you know. Don't stay home all day. Uh, technology's great, but, you know, you got to get outside and exercise sometime. So, guys, that's all the tips I have for today. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry it ran a little long, but, yeah, uh, as for me, I do have a little summer job. Like I said, $6 an hour, and I still do my online stuff. So it's all about balancing out, uh, you know, your needs and your wants and all that stuff. you got to set prioritize all your, you know, the job and everything like that. So, anyways, guys, if you have your own tips, video response, comments, anything like that, uh, leave them below and comment, rate, subscribe. See you guys later.